According to a new report launched by United Nations Environment Programme on May 16, 2023, global plastic pollution can reduce by 80% by 2040 if countries and companies make a shift to a circular economy. But any delays in execution will mean higher costs and an additional 80 million tonnes of plastic pollution by 2040. This report precedes a second round of negotiations on a legally binding instrument to end plastic pollution to be held in Paris. The UNEP report urged governments and businesses to eliminate unnecessary and problematic plastic uses by making three market shifts – reuse, recycle and reorient and diversify. For each necessary shift, the report accounted for likely implications on industries dependent on plastic. Even with such measures, 100 million tonnes of plastics from single-use and short-lived products will still need to be safely dealt with annually by 2040, with a legacy of existing plastic pollution. A further $3.25 trillion would be saved from avoided externalities such as health, climate, air pollution, marine ecosystem degradation and litigation-related costs. This shift could also result in a net increase of 700,000 jobs by 2040. The report also highlighted that highest costs in both a throwaway and circular economy are operational, which can be covered by extended producer responsibility schemes. The document further addressed specific policies including standards for design, safety, and compostable and biodegradable plastics, targets for minimum recycling, taxes, bans, communication strategies, public procurement and labelling.